Hello everyone and welcome in assembly language programming of 8051 microcontroller series. In today's lecture we are going to talk about interfacing character LCD with 8051 microcontroller. Here in your screen you are uh, watching the image from Spark Fun. Uh, this is the typical image of a character LCD. Uh, this character LCD is very famous in embedded system projects as you will see in various projects displaying something uh, useful information on this character LCD. Uh, the this character LCD is normally 16 by 2, 16 means 16 columns and 2 lines. But uh, you can uh, see a different variation like this. This is an 8 character by 1 line LCD. Uh, there is also very famous version of this uh, 20 by 4 LCD here you can see the 20 columns and 4 rows these are the different flavors which are very common among embedded programmers to use the uh, to uh, display some output to the user end user so whenever you are going to create an embedded system project which needs to display something useful to the user you need to consider this character LCD if the information you are going to display is the characters only uh, but if you want to uh, present something graphical then there is an option for graphic LCD as well but in today's lecture we are only focusing about 16 by 2 character LCD uh, so let's jump dive how to interface something with the 8051 microcontroller this is the it's of uh, uh, interfacing kind of first lecture in our tutorial series so I am very excited hope you will also be excited after seeing the codes and the useful information and you will be excited to put this into your hardware so uh, first of all we need to uh, read the data sheet uh, uh, whichever part or whichever sensor or whichever thing that we want to connect with our microcontroller we need to read the data sheet so first of all the famous version in available here is jhd 16.2a series so about uh, when we see the uh, uh, into the data sheet there are different parameters here which we will not consider let's uh, directly jump into this block diagram uh, this block diagram is the internal controller which is available for you to program this is the internal block diagram of an JSD 16 to a series okay so 16 to a 162 a uh, basically means 16 crack uh, 16 columns and two rows so here you see the LCD panel uh, segment driver and controller we will neglect this part and only focus now on the controller the KS0066 controller is available and you need to uh, program this controller to drive the LCD and to display something onto the LCD here we have seven pins which is that uh, f uh, start from db0 to db7 these are the data pins that used to uh, give the data to the controller the next very informative pin is the enable pin and the read write and rs these are two con uh, three control pins okay read write mode uh, read write r slash w uh, pin basically describes that you on putting some high low logic on this pin you tell the microcontroller to uh, uh, your intention whether it is to read something from the lcd or to write something on the lcd so this pin is basically used in our read write mode when you put this pin to ground or put negative logic on this pin you are basically on our write mode so the most of the time this pin is grounded so we only consider to write anything on the LCD the next thing is register select RS pin RS pin is also very famous pin and very useful pin this basically 
used to select the register in which you uh, tell whether you want to uh, give the LCD a command or a character to display on the LCD. So these are basic features which for which the LCD is used. Other pins are of uh, VCC, VEE and VSS. VCC is basically the uh, positive uh, supply, uh, 5 volt normally provided to this LCD. VSS is ground and VE is basically contrast adjustment. You basically uh, put a 10k pot potentiometer on this pin so that you can vary the contrast of the LCD. Uh, the next page provide the information about the dimension of uh, dif uh, different uh, sizing and dimensions of the LCD. We neglect this part as well and uh, we will focus on the pin configuration of the character LCD. So first pin is ground, second pin is positive, third pin is for contrast adjustment, fourth pin is the register select, fifth pin is read write. You put this on ground as we will do in the our current lecture. The pin 6 is enable pin and from pin 7 to pin 14 are the data pins. That this is the 8 bit mod we are going to use in our current lecture to put something onto the LCD. So uh, the last two pins 15 and 16 sometime you uh, uh, got the LCD which is only 14 pins so these are the common configuration but if you got LCD with 16 pins it means that an other backlight LED is provided. So you can use this as normal LED inter interfacing by uh, uh, putting a resistor in series and uh, 16 pin to ground and 15 pin to positive. So this will light up the backlight of the LCD uh, like you are seeing on this image. Okay. And this image everything is lit light lit up. Okay. So let's dive into our emulator which is Proteus uh, 7.6 version I am using. So first of all, let's put an 89C51 microcontroller. Let's select this. And next thing that we want to select is the our character LCD. Okay. So to choose the character LCD, you uh, Proteus also provide you the feature to select between the different parameters and the be between the different very uh, flavors of the LCD. Uh, but in our case, we are only focused on 16 by 2 and the version of the controller that is provided in Proteus is LM016L which is the same in our case in the JSD 16.2A series. Okay, so we, we will use this LCD. Okay, let's try to uh, interface and build some circuit to test and the LCD put it here. Okay. In this lecture, we will use a uh, port zero. Okay. So as I have told you in previous lectures that to use uh, the port zero, it is uh, used for to drive the high current devices like in our case is the LCD. So we will use the port zero. This is open collector port, but to use this port, you need to pull up every each and every pin of this port. Okay. So it is very important to put a pull up on this port. Otherwise you will not f uh, get any output on this port on this port. So you need to be very precise and very conscious about using uh, this port. Whenever you want to use this port, uh, always put a pull up. It is also a common practice to put all pins uh, to pull up and uh, so that uh, to neglect any future errors. Okay, so that's up for now and let's select our resistor pack of 10k and uh, uh, the total we need the eight pins uh, so it will become the nine pin one common pin okay so let's put it here and interface it with the microcontroller and the lcd data pins 
so we are going to use the LCD in the uh, 8 bit mode there is the reason I am telling you the 8 bit 8 bit is because we have an other option to use this LCD in 4 bit mode if you are shorted in short of uh, uh, you have shortage of the uh, interfacing pins you can reduce the interfacing of um, the pins into the 4 bit mode but if you are concerned about the coding and the size of your program as uh, uh, when you are going to use the LCD it definitely means that if the size of the project will uh, size of the code and the size of the assembly program will increase and uh, you will definitely be con con uh, concerned whether to use this or not so in case of programming uh, when you will use the 8-bit mode the code will be shorter and uh, easy to read easy to maintain but if you will use the 4-bit mode it will become messy and difficult to read difficult to maintain but once you got very comfortable with using the um, uh, like you say the code and understand all the logic behind the interfacing then you will feel comfortable in it okay so no need to worry about that uh, uh, this ground is just disturbing us so let's put it here okay so for rs pin we use the uh, port 2.0 and for enable pin we use port 2.1 okay so this is our common uh, circuit which is uh, pretty enough to test our code in the proteus so 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 what to do now let's jump dive into our coding open notepad plus plus that we are using in our previous lectures and uh, and 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 uh, create a new file like we do uh, before and now here it comes the interesting part right we will commonly use all our previous common practices that we are uh, uh, good to use so first of all all caps this is my style you can adopt your own as uh, it is it really doesn't matter whether you use the caps lock or the uh, small correct alphabets it really doesn't matter okay and uh, the next thing that you are going to do is to um, test whether your code is uh, working so let's just uh, clear over port 2.3 uh, let's say and uh, short jump to here so let's stay here okay and save this code in our assembly folder as we are very uh, used to with and save this with lcd ex01 dot asm okay so here we go let's go to the command prompt to uh, compile our code uh, sorry cd uh, documents die cd assembly and uh, clear the screen okay uh, so what to do now let's try to compile the code smw space lcd underscore ex01 dot asm minus o lcd underscore ex01 dot hex uh oh just missed the command asemw okay so uh, no errors found code is compiled let's add the hex file into our proteus model and lcd ex01 here we go let's run okay uh oh uh oh uh oh call unexpected at 
start of the line so the it seems that hex file isn't generated properly uh, there will be some condition that over assembler is corrupted or something similar let's try to add an other pre-compiled hex file right that uh, 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 okay blink let's check if blink is working uh, yep port 1.0 is blinking so this hex file is properly working and uh, now go back to our lcd ex01 file and try to run this and the same error okay okay now you are facing an error i am not going to pause the video i am just uh, going through uh, this uh, to overcome this error with you so that you will able to know when you see some malicious errors errors that you are not aware before uh, and you haven't seen them before what to do with them okay so uh, uh, please follow along or if you find the solution right away you can skip the tutorial okay it doesn't really matter so what to do the now uh, go to the command prompt again documents uh, forgot the typo forget the typo and 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 uh, CD assembly okay now we have a lot of files here let's try to uh, compile another file uh, which one it would be uh oh let's say we want to use the file 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 lcd uh, okay ascmw lcd ex01 dot asm my uh, let's do this no error uh, which file is generated let's reload the file uh, 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 oh okay okay so uh, now everything is okay w uh, see this is 2.3 pin which is uh, negative so that's what we did in our code so it is a unit test practice to test the, your code that everything is your environment is working properly uh, before you uh, write all the code and uh, your hardware structure is not working this is basically it is better to uh, unit test all your parts before uh, jumping dive into uh, writing all of your code at once and later on uh, uh, some little thing is missing in the code and you pulling your hairs to uh, blah 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 you never know what to do and you think your all code is mess you but you look at your code all your code is working all your code is good all the logic is proper no compilation error no syntax error but the code isn't working so it is best to unit test before uh, uh, you write the actual code so always test all your parts in units before writing your actual code so that's the tip for today as you know i always give you a good programming practice tip so that's one for today you. so the next unit test is to uh, use your uh, port zero and uh, move port zero number something uh, zero one zero one zero one zero one b okay uh, let's just stick with this and rerun recompile and rerun your code and your port zero is also working according to your code so port zero is working port two is working now we want to jump to write directly over lcd interfacing code so there are three parts uh, main parts to do when uh, interfacing an lcd uh, the first of all and very important one is to initialize the lcd so there is a, a way to properly initialize your lcd so 
what to do uh, for this uh, we need to create some subroutines that will help us to initialize our LCD so first of all uh, let's create our main loop and the uh, s jump to main so that's our main infinite loop uh, okay 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 let's call it loop one okay or something more meaningful m loop uh, denoting your main loop okay and your main code here so we divided our main program into two things one is an infinite loop to all uh, repeatedly jumping that we are used to do before and one thing is the main main level the main thing will all handle all your initialization this basically this will uh, be something like your setup code okay so you set up all your things here and then uh, uh, jump into the main loop so what to do to initialize your lcd as you know we are basically uh, using port 0 so uh, let's just label this over uh, lcd data port equate to the port 0 okay so we know that we are using the port 0 as an over data port and we are also using two other pins which are rs and which is a bit to the port uh, 2.1 let's uh, uh, 2.0 okay rs is 2.0 and enable is 2.1 2.0 and enable let's call it en uh, let it bit and port 2.1 okay so uh, let's test this to clear our rs and to clear our enable and move to uh, lcd data and number something uh, some zero one zero one zero 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 one b okay so let's try to compile this code and test if this working as well so okay port 0 is working and port 2.0 and 2.1 is uh, active low so this is also working so first of all we tested our hardware that hardware is uh, responding according to our code and we tested port 0 now we uh, put some labels on our used uh, pins that we want to use and we test it again so everything is working fine so far okay so let's move on first of all create a subroutine to initialize your lcd so lcd init i will call this lcd init and what to do is here at the last is just to return this will indicate that this is an uh, basically a subroutine okay so let's just to add a quotes uh, separation here so that you will see something clearer okay so these are our sections different sections i love to uh, separate my code assembly code into different sections uh, the major ones the smaller ones smaller ones with the uh, hyphens and the major ones with the equal to lines so that's what uh, help me to always read my code it will help me to increase readability of my assembly language programs you can adopt your own style if you wish or stick with mine until you got to your own style so uh, we had created our program to initialize the lcd in the 8-bit mod the first thing that we need to do is uh, to make a command to write something on the lcd okay before initializing the lcd we need to uh, generate uh, some way or need to create some method or subroutine 
to basically write something on okay so to write something on the LCD uh, we will use an other subroutine to write on to the LCD and we call this function of uh, LCD data write okay and we also need to write some commands to the LCD so we will call this LCD command write and LCD data write so it will be a little better to use constants before the actual changing things so we will use the prefix of LCD underscore write underscore CMD and data okay so that will help us to more meaningfully uh, read our code so to write data onto the LCD and write command onto the LCD the only difference here is with the register select okay as you know only the register select bit will tell you whether to write something onto the command register or onto the data register so to write the command we need to set bit over rs we need to put active high on our register select bit okay so first of all we are accepting the arguments in our accumulator register so a register so always focus to load the actual data that you want to write on to the microcontroller oh so i am um, uh, i beg your pardon uh, the command register of the lcd controller so you need to put this on to the your LCD data port okay let's call this port to make this more meaningful right and uh, move LCD data port make uh, what to move on move in the accumulator register okay so whatever you want to put on the LCD you will pass the parameter in accumulator register so within your subroutine you will get your accumulator the value from the accumulator register or the a register okay so now you uh, copied the value of accumulator register onto the lcd data port which is port 0 what to do next is to signal the lcd the thing that you want to do which is uh, to set bit the rs register the next thing is to enable the lcd to accept data from the data port so to do this we need to put a one logic one onto the lcd uh, to the enable pin so same like the RS we will uh, set bit over enable uh, to write this onto the LCD we need to uh, generate a pulse okay so let's separate our logic here and just indicate that or oh, this is over LCD library we are generating all over LCD interfacing code here just to uh, remind something meaningful don't forget to save your code so we need to generate a delay function okay so hope you uh, remember a little uh, delay let's call the delay one and this is one register delay and we move r7 value to 55 and dj and z r7 for 250 times and 
after all after that we will return okay so call this delay here and clear your enable after that so that's all for doing the stuff and uh, what about the read write pin as you remember that we put read write pin to ground already in our hardware so we we don't need to tackle the stuff again in our code right so next thing is with the data register what to do we uh, write a data to the LCD so the same procedure that we did before but instead of uh, set bit RS we will clear RS now the rem remaining code will the remain the same so we had created over a command for writing the command to the LCD uh, we had created the over subroutine to write the command on the LCD and to uh, and write the data on the LCD so this uh, sub routine or this function will put command into LCDs command register this function will display data onto LCD okay so these are two different flavors of the writing to the LCD the next thing is the initialization the remaining part is the initialization which we created first but we come to last so we use the bottom-up approach here the to initialize we just need to uh, give LCD some commands we have already created our subroutine to give LCD uh, commands so now we are going to use that write command function in our LCD initialization function so what to do here is to move values on a that we want to ri uh, write uh, that we want to command to the LCD so the first thing is don't forget to put the hash sign hash sign indicate that the the pro, uh, provided value is a number not an address okay so always don't forget to put a hash sign the 38 value is an hex value this value will tell the LCD to initialize in the two line and five by seven matrix okay so uh, this command tells LCD to initialize 5x7 to line okay so the next thing is to call the command function right so we use the a call LCD write command function so that's it to write and something onto the LCD so we use the passing the parameter to the function right we put the parameter into over a register and we pass that a register to the subroutine that we had created so we will do the rest of the thing as well uh, to accept LCD this command we need to put some delay here we have only delay one so for now at least we use this uh, we will see if we need to increase the delay or not later on okay so the next command that we want to give the LCD is to just display on and cursor on okay to give this command we will use the number OE 
zero e okay so this will tell display on and cursor on whether you on the cursor or not but to switch on the display giving the lcd the command to on the display is very important okay so this is also required to initialize the lcd properly so again call delay to accept the commands to let the lcd accept the commands right the next thing let's create one more function this function is it uh, necessary in the sense to use your lcd library but uh, let's assume that we need this function often in our lcd operations so let's create an lcd clear function move when we uh, give lcd zero h command this will clear all the display at the current time onto the lcd okay so just return that's it for clearing the lcd clear all characters from lcd display not from the command register right so that's for the lcd clearing let's clear the lcd in our lcd initialization function uh, you may give a little delay here as well although is it necessary here so 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 what to do now just little last thing is to shift the cursor right to blink it on the lcd okay so to shift the cursor onto the lcd we need 06 h command so we will put 06 h and we will call the lcd write command function and also we will give some time and later on we return so let's see if it works or not and by just a calling this lcd initialization function here on the main loop okay so pretty okay pretty well one error detected illegal constant on line number 27 so come to the line number 27 and see uh, 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 we didn't provide it the h command so by default it accept if we if we do not mention the number is hex binary octal or decimal the by default this assembler accept the characters in decimal format so e isn't our decimal character so the compiler give prompts the error okay so compile the code again no error this time let's run and see what happens so nothing is happening so far right because we hadn't put in something onto the lcd so what to do but although we hadn't put in uh, put anything any character on the lcd but the thing that should happen is the cursor remember we switch on the cursor but we aren't seeing any cursor on the lcd so what's the catch here so the first thing that you can play with is to increase the delay and see if the delay works so um, let's create a delay function uh, more uh like this we use r6 number 255 multiplied by 255 it is all n square times right and uh, d1 l1 call this loop d1 l2 call this loop and uh, and 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 dj and z 
R6 and jump to D1 L1 right so uh, we do not need this level anymore so what will it do it will iterate d1 l1 r6 times okay so the value in the r6 will be repeated 255 times so basically 255 multiplied by 255 is our resultant delay this is just a brute force thing to just save and recompile uh, and try to run okay so we are not seeing anything again what to do now so see when you will uh, code in uh, uh, to interface something with uh, your microcontroller and uh, you will try to uh, see something in the emulator these are the common errors that you will face very often so always make it sure that you are doing the correct thing okay so uh, remember that uh, we uh, we initialized over lcd with uh, 30h uh, 38h which will indicate that uh, initialize the lcd in two line and five by seven matrix and uh, we later on uh, put the command o 0 eh which will tell the lcd to on the lcd and cursor on and the next command that we provided the lcd is to clear the lcd uh, so although lcd hasn't anything previously but maybe the lcd has something on uh, previously on the screen and we want to reinitialize this code and what to do the next the next thing uh, is uh, we provided the command 06 h that command will shift the character to one side right okay so the next thing is to position our cursor onto the lcd so that thing we hadn't done uh, before let's try to do this and see if that is the reason the lcd isn't displaying anything on the uh, display uh, so let's try to write one more command that is to position the lcd position the cursor on the first line and the first character okay the command to uh, set the cursor to the first line is the 86 command okay so basically the address of the 80 uh, address of the first line is 80h 80h and the cor corrector is adding up to the uh, basically the 80h so uh, we want to position our cursor to the first line and that is the number 80h and let's say the first column and uh, a call the lcd write command a call delay and here let's just put something on uh, lcd to see if it works or not and uh, a call lcd write data this time okay so let's compile this code we oh, yeah. and try to run this again and 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 no still nothing happens right so this time we need to just make it sure that we are uh, using everything properly basically 250 millisecond delay is uh, provided 
the reason could not be the okay let's see what data sheet says okay we had uh, our data sheet and we will need to confirm that everything that we assumed is good so 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 this is the character pattern one two three four five one two three four five and one two three four five six seven right five five seven or five five eight uh 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 we tried cs lcd bus hair 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 what is it saying okay if we come back here and uh, i just uh, fast forward something to uh, not disturb uh, your intentions and uh, i just need to uh, after seeing the lcd i uh, just uh, found a little uh, thing to change here is that we uh, first of all we can just uh, to pulse this we can just knock this instead of uh, uh, such a long delay and uh, one thing that we uh, did wrong in our code is the status of the rs okay so in the data sheet you can see that to write a command to the register command register we need to clear rs and uh, to write the data we need to put a high logic on the rs pin so this is the write mode and this is a read mode we are write mode so we use the uh, here you can see the delays in nanosecond so we can just switch the knob instead of putting a long delay and uh, here you can see the waveforms of writing this okay so and here it is clearly mentioned that uh, to write something on the lcd we uh, need to set bit and to write command on the lcd we need to clear this right so let's just change this and uh, try to recompile the code and try to rerun so n is displayed right and one more command that we came to know as instead of this j let's just use 0 f and see what happens recompile the code we save the code and rerun the code right now the crystal Chris, uh, cursor is blinking and cursor is on right so uh, to write more things on lcd uh, we can just use here move something more uh, mass characters lcd write uh, data and uh, move one more character to the lcd and say this uh, no nope. lcd write data okay so enough for now just save it compile it try to run it uh, uh, uh. <laughs> nothing is displayed instead of n just a blank characters a new amazing error right it seems that it 
isn't very precious to follow okay we can omit these things and the this thing let's just stick to this and see what will happen run and it's still displayed but not other characters this is a very strange behavior lcd is uh, mimicking we had right data right this is right 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 let's check over routine so we put value on our port we clear rs we set bit enable control z we put a knob and clear the enable that's right and for data we set bit the rs set bit the enable knob knob and we put everything on the LCD so far so good okay so let's just uh, try to compile and run again and see if something our emulator can tell us okay so this is uh, stating that controller receive data while busy so we need to put some delay here as it is saying that uh, we need to call some delay before putting characters to the lcd okay so controller is still busy delay is too small we although put a very long delay here right so let's try to increase this knobs a little and see if yeah it helped but not much right okay so let's put another delay here if the thing is with delay no no we put this wrong at wrong place right we need to put the delay after the right command like we did here we need to do here and we need to do here okay so that was the reason behind the scene now right so that's the journey to debug the code to write the code to find the errors to face the errors fight with errors to remove the errors and get your things done so we are done so right here that we are done and put one more character here okay one more let it be e and this be dot and this be the dot as well and one last dot here okay so we are done okay so that's it for today's lecture hope you doing well practice this practice this a lot if you face anything that you uh, doesn't come up with the solution just put it on a, in a command on a command i will try my best to tell you although i am a little busy with my side projects uh, but i will promise to uh, see your errors and do my best what i can do to help you okay so take care guys
practice a lot practice a lot practice a lot the more error you face the more experienced one you are okay because the previously faced errors and the errors faced in the learning stage is better than facing the error in the production stage so face the error in learning stage not only see the errors face them fight them remove them and get your things done so now we had created something amazing isn't it we faced a lot of errors try to do this by your hand try to do this over and over again try to remove all your code and try to write it uh, uh, without looking onto the code try to write it by on your own it will definitely increase your practice so take care Allah Hafiz bye bye see you do well